Hello, this is Marcus from Profile Tree, and in this video, I will be showing you how to manage the menus on your WordPress site. To view your menus, hover over Appearance on the left toolbar. Then, click on Menus. Looking at the top left of the screen, we can select a menu to edit. Existing on the site at the moment, we have desktop, footer, and off canvas. When we select one of these, it will open up the blocks for that given menu, like so. Looking at the front end of the site, we can see our desktop menu here. And likewise, our footer menu just below. For this tutorial video, we shall create a new menu from start to finish and then display it at the top of our site. For now, I have temporarily disabled the desktop menu that we've seen earlier just by clicking here within the menu settings where we can choose where to display our given menus. They will use that usually have this set as appropriate, so no changes should be needed, but know that the options are here in case. To create a new menu, simply select on create a new menu next to the dropdown we were using previously. The first thing it'll ask us to do is to make a new menu. We'll call this main menu. We'll then decide to display this one on the desktop just for the tutorial video purpose. And then we'll click on create menu. Now that this menu exists, we can add pages, posts, and different links. Looking at the left side, we can see any different categories of content that we have on the site by pages, posts, categories, and any other custom post types relating to your WordPress site. We can view the most recent, view them all, or use the search functionality to find a specific page. To add any of these pages or posts to the menu, simply click on the tick box for any that are relevant, and then click Add to Menu. It will then appear as such. We can then click on any of these and drag them to where we want them to appear in the menu. In this case, as they appear top to bottom would be how they appear left to right for horizontal base menus. If we want to make any of these a sub menu, so to have a drop down, we can simply drag them to the right. And likewise, for any further sub menus, we can drag them further and we can see them structured like so. At any point, we can drag them back and move them around as appropriate. Clicking on the arrow of one of these links, we can see we can change the label and we can see the original link to the page. We can change this label to anything we want, have it anything custom, and the original link will not change in this case. We can also remove and cancel any changes that we may have made to it. It's important to note that after we've made any changes, we'll want to click on Save Menu so that the changes carry over. Posts behave in a similar fashion, but we also have other options such as custom links. This will usually be used for any external links on the site going off to other websites. We simply type in the URL and then the text that will appear. Some further options that are available include link targets. In particular for any external links, we may want to open these in a new tab so that we not do not pull users away from our main site. Simply by enab enabling it like so, this link will open in a new tab 
instead of opening within the same window for any users. Now that we've saved our changes, let's view the front end of the site and refresh the page. And we can now see that the menu has been updated to what we've put in place. And that concludes the video for managing the menus on your site. I'll see you in the next one.